It's been two full years now with the closed signs, the laid off employees and the empty chairs. Some 90,000 bars and restaurants across the country have closed permanently because of the pandemic and others are hanging on by a thread. We need to have people understand the challenges you face and committed to long-term solutions. Oregon Congressman Earl Blumenauer held a meeting this week with other representatives and some of the hurting business owners. Blumenauer led the charge early in the pandemic to get more than $28 billion to bars and restaurants. He says it helped save 100,000 of them, but 177,000 more are still in big trouble. Blumenauer wants more money for the Restaurant Revitalization Fund to help them. We're here today uh, to continue the drumbeat of the need for replenishment, what difference it makes, how it is affecting these vital, vital businesses. One of those businesses is the Realem Inn Tavern in Southeast Portland. It's been around since the 1940s, but pandemic times have been the toughest. On March 16th, 2020, the nightmare began. We closed our doors. Within two weeks, we were laying off our entire staff. Alex Briggs says he and his wife took over the Realem Inn in 2017 and were growing the business before COVID. Last May, the tavern, known for its fried chicken, was awarded a restaurant revitalization grant. But what was promised never came through, and now they are so far behind. We are on the brink of ruin through no fault of our own. If we are not funded, This will be a generational catastrophe whose ripple effects will be felt on every Main Street in America. Briggs and thousands of other distressed business owners are counting on the federal government to help them make a comeback. Blumenauer says he has support from more than 150 lawmakers so far that want restaurant relief as part of any additional COVID-19 spending package. We are looking at these at every avenue, any legislation that goes through, trying to see if it can be attached, uh, trying to build the base of support beyond what we've got. But for some places, time is truly running out. Tim Gordon, KGW News.